everybody welcome back hope everybody is having a great day today we're going to be unboxing series one and series two of the mini Bruce make it mini food cafe series any extra or duplicates that we have we will add to our mini burst pantry which one should we start with i say we start with cafe series one for these, there is no wave 2, it was just series 1, and it had a total of, how many was it? 18. 18 items to the collection. To complete the series 1 collection, we're missing the cafe latte, the chocolate donuts, the berry salad, the ube boba, tropical salad, and the mocha. Which one will we get today? I am starting to be a little impatient and get very eager because it's getting closer to us being able to complete a collection. I've never completed any type of collection so I'm super excited, super thrilled and hopefully today we get to add some more items to our collection. Of the items that we're missing, I really hope we get a salad or a coffee. Either one of those or any new item would make me extremely happy. Have any of you completed any of the mini bear series? Please let me know. I'm super curious and let me know your experience, how long it took. Please go ahead and leave that in the comments. Yes, we have a new item. We have the Ube Boba. This is so exciting because this is the last Boba that we were missing for our collection. Yes! Next, we have some ice. We have our little tiny to-go cup. We also have our Boba. Let's go ahead and start building our Ube Boba. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing Ube right. If not, I'm very sorry. We're going to add the first the boba, then the ice, then the resin. This one is so cute. It's some good stuff. I really like this packaging. I'm just in love with mini bars, I think. <laughs> Let me go ahead and add some of the boba. Next, we're going to add some of the ice as well as the resin. This resin has such a beautiful pink color. I love it. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and fill it almost all the way to the top. I just want to give ourselves a little wiggle room. That way we're able to mix everything very well. And this will help us prevent the resin from pouring outside of the cup. Let's finish it off with a tiny bit more resin. Add its lid and get it cured. Just like this. This is what it looks like now that it's cured. I think we did a great job. I like how the container looks better with the lid not full of resin. But it's a personal preference. I'm pretty sure any way you make it, it's going to look amazing for you. I did go ahead and add it to our collection. And let's get straight to opening capsule number two. Let's see what we get. Come on, salad. Come on, cafe. <laughs> it's so incredible that of those four, the two salads and the two coffees, I haven't gotten any. <laughs> so far, we have some glaze and we have donuts. Oh, are they the chocolate? No, they're not. We have a duplicate. We have some sprinkles, we have the little tray, and let me see, these are the vanilla ones, so we definitely have them. I just wanted to check to see if they were the vanilla or the strawberry. I should have known by the resin, but I got confused for some reason. Let's jump on straight to a third cafe series capsule. Let's see what we get. I think this is the last one I got for today, but we'll see. <laughs> Just depends what comes out, right? If we get something new, then we'll stop here with series one. Oh my, 
yes the universe listen to <laughs> our plea we have some pineapples and what i'm thinking is correct we have the tropical salad how exciting you guys it has some kiwis some orange slices and it comes with some clear glaze for this beauty we are going to need a closer look so let me go ahead and give you a close-up of this tropical salad this salad has several fruits the resin the little salad cup and the spoon for this recipe we're going to first add all of the ingredients add the resin and then add the pineapple for decor now i'm thinking we really really need to be on our a game for this one we do not know if we're going to get any more duplicates of this one and sadly these are really hard to find now so i have to be careful and give it my 100 percent the pineapples are super cute they're in both slices and cubes and we also have these orange slices we need our kiwi i had not had any kiwi before in any recipe so i'm very excited to see this one and have this one in this recipe we have some clear glaze which we have also never unboxed before so that's very interesting I'm curious on what it says underneath. Let me peel this little film off. What does it say? Nothing there. Mini stuff. Oh, okay. So it's just the same thing as the other ones. I was thinking maybe it had other images or something else, but looks good. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get everything ready. Let's pour all of our ingredients in the table and let's start building our tropical salad let me just finish pouring out the pineapples and we will get the resin in the bottom of the bowl i know this is not in the instructions or the recipe but there is there is more to this there's more to my madness <laughs> what i want to achieve is the bowl is obviously curved towards the bottom right so i feel like if we put the smaller pieces first underneath we're able to really take advantage of all the area inside i'm going to now pour some of the resin and layer in the kiwis i want it to look beautiful <laughs> i'm going to fill in those empty spaces with some of the pineapple chunks and we're going to give it a cure now that it is cured, we can see that nothing falls off and it's ready to get some more resin and more fruit added. This resin compared to other resins in series one pours out very nicely, very smoothly, no complaints. I'm going to add a pineapple to help me stand the orange slices. I want to stand them along all of the edge of the salad bowl just like this i want them to all look evenly distributed along the edge and facing the same direction i think we can add one more right here let me just straighten them out a little bit before we add anything else i think it's looking really good what do you think i'm going to add some more resin to make sure all the little crevices get filled with it let me i'm going to have to use both fingers here <laughs> both hands i mean i should say there we go and we're going to fill it in with some pineapple chunks i really like these pineapples i think they did a great job with everything here now we're going to add some of the leftover kiwi and I also want these to be right in the center almost looking like a little flower or petals. Hopefully I can make it work <laughs> or make it look like that. But here it is just filling up the gaps with the little pineapple chunks. It's looking good. I'm so excited. 
I'm going to finish adding some more of the resin because it does look a little empty. It definitely needs it. And we can't forget that we need to add our little pineapple slice for decoration. Just like this. Ooh, I love it. Let me just top it off with more resin. I'm going to squeeze every single drop I can out and then we need to take it for a cure. It has been cured and this is what it looks like. I think it looks incredible. I love it. <laughs> I don't think I had spoken so well of an item before, but I really like this one. I really like how the kiwi look, the oranges, how if you flip it over you could see the ingredients as well. Let's go ahead and get this added to our collection. Series two is to our right. Here is what we have collected so far. Let me grab the little recipes. Here are all of the recipes that we're still missing. One, two, three, four, five. So many drinks, right? <laughs> Six. Oh wait, we already have this one. So this one would be the sixth one. Seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen wow we still need tons for this collection but it's the newest one so we still have some time hopefully we find some more in stores but in the meantime let's go ahead and get started with our first little capsule we're going to go ahead and i think just stay with series two wave one let's see how we do with these mini bears please please give us something good please let the weekend start in a positive note let's take everything out we do not need the instructions not right now let's leave this one face down that way we're surprised and let's see what we get i am hoping for some churros that would be really fun to make what do we have here? We have a bowl. We have, oh, we have the alphabet soup. I am so excited that we have this one as duplicates because the little letters can be used for so many things. So this one, let's set it aside and we'll add it to our pantry later. Let's grab another mini capsule and let's see what we will have next. In our little yellow bag, we have some... We have some of the crushed ice, so this means we have a slushy. Ooh, I hope it's the blue one. Isn't this cute? Let me see. Oh no, we have our second duplicate. <laughs> did we get any duplicates on the first round? We sure did, so this is our third duplicate of the day. But it's okay, our pantry can use some more items. Let me go ahead and get started with capsule number three. What will we have next? Do any of you have any special plans for this weekend? Doing anything fun? If so, I really hope that you enjoy this time with your families, surrounded by your loved ones. Ooh, this is a good idea for you all. Go ahead and have a cookout with your family. Make some hot dogs, a barbecue, the weather is changing, so it may be just the perfect timing for that. We have another duplicate. We have the little hot dog with the little dog. These are so cute, right? Let's see. So, so far, three out of three were duplicates. Now, because of that, how about we jump on to wave two of series two for the cafe series? Man, that was a mouthful, right? Let's see what we have. Can you tell I'm starting to get a little impatient and want to see something new? <laughs> Let's see what we have in this little tiny bag. We have the whipped cream with the cherry on top. We also have, ooh, what are you? We have a cherry soda. I've never had cherry soda. I have no idea what it tastes like. But it also comes with some French vanilla ice cream and it has a little mason cup. 
So the recipe is called the Sherry Vanilla Float. I have had root beer floats before, just not like this one, a cherry flavor. Step one, add the resin, add the straw, step two. Step three, the ice cream for the whipped cream. We got this. Let me go ahead and show you the one we made last time. For the last one, I did go ahead and add all four scoops of ice cream because I was noticing there just was not enough resin to fill up the mason cup. So let's take a look at this little soda bottle. Let's see what it says back here and hope that it does have enough resin for us to only add the three scoops of ice cream like the recipe says. So let's go ahead and start pouring out our cherry soda. It's so vibrant, I love it. It would have been awesome to have this color for the ketchup for the hot dog. <laughs> Look at the little French vanilla creamy ice cream. It's holding its three little scoops. Award winning flavors. How cute is this? <laughs> With its barcodes. I still enjoy looking at all of the detail that Miniverse puts in its product. It's amazing. Let me go ahead and get this opened and we'll go ahead and add the scoops into our mason cup. We've added the first one, the second one. Let me push this down and see how far the resin rises. Yeah, so you do need to put at least three scoops of ice cream to make sure the resin can fill up most of the mason cup. I'm going to add some cherries to go ahead and give it more volume. I think this may work, so let me just push them down a little to get some resin on our ice cream scoop. Next, we're going to top it off with the whipped cream. But let me not forget to add the straw. Sometimes I forget and then I have to cut it <laughs> and fix it. So let me make sure I add that first before I continue with the little whipped cream. On second thought, we need to cure it first. Let me go ahead and cure it. This is what it looks like cured. I like how we are still able to see the cherries, the vanilla ice cream through the resin. I think that is really cool. We're going to go ahead and grab now a little cherry with whipped cream to add to the top of our ice cream scoop. How do you feel about the red straw? I was thinking that maybe if they had added one of the blue ones or maybe even a yellow one, it would have made more contrast, but I may be overthinking that one. Let me go ahead and add just a little bit more of the cherry syrup. Next, I'm going to fill up one of the sides with cherries. Just like this. I think that's enough. Let me go ahead and cure it and we will be right back. It will only be a couple of minutes. And we are back. This is what our finished recipe looks like. What do you think? Do you like it? How has everybody's mini birds toy hunting been going? I went to search for the Halloween and holiday capsules on, let me hear. It was Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I did, I don't remember if I went Monday, but these here are the only ones that we have been seeing in stores. The Cafe Series 2, Wave 2. But let's see what this miniverse has for us. Did you know they sell miniverse? at Party City. I'll tell you a little story of that in just a moment. We have here some vanilla icing and we have, yes, we have a new item. We have the macarons. I have seen several people make these and they always express it's really hard because they're really tiny and the resin pours out and they can't get a good grip on them. I have a couple of ideas. We'll see if they work right now. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we're able to do justice to this recipe. I was noticing that for the recipe cards, the series two, wave one, has yellow. 
and the series 2 wave 2 recipes have this blue little logo so just a little fun fact in case you were wondering and for the classic macarons let's turn the card over it says here we're going to add the bottom layer add resin and then add the top macaron so to try and prevent them from moving everywhere I'm going to add some double-sided tape here and I'm going to lay the macarons right on the double-sided tape. Hopefully this will help us prevent them from moving everywhere. <laughs> on second thought, we should just do it on this baking sheet, right? Let me go ahead and just remove the macarons and then we'll add the double-sided tape to the baking sheet. This way, it's also easier for us to carry it over to our UV light. I really recommend and love this Dollar Tree double-sided tape. It works wonderfully. I have no complaints. <laughs> Let me go ahead and add two of each macaron. So we'll add two orange, two yellow, and two pink to the side that has the double-sided tape. We will grab the orange first, then we'll grab, let's do the yellow next. And lastly, but definitely not least, we'll grab the pink ones. Let me just take a quick look at the box. I saw it had something in its head. Is it a bowl? I don't know what it is. Oh, you know what I think it is? It's a hat. It has a little hat on top. That is so cute. This vanilla icing, the outside seems to be damaged with ink, but as long as the inside is intact, we're good. Let me take a look. Yeah, it looks fine. Let's go ahead and add dollops of icing to our macarons. I hope I'm adding just the right amount of icing. That way when we squish them together, we'll have that little layer. Similar to Oreos, we want that nice white layer in the middle. Let me see, will this work? Yes, it's working. And we're not making a mess. I love it. The double-sided tape is definitely a must. Let's see. Oh no, I think this pink one, I will have to add some more resin. Let me go ahead and add more resin and cure them. One second. I added just a little bit more resin only to the pink ones. I think I was a little stingy initially with the resin on them, but they turned out great. Let's go ahead and add them to our two gold container. We'll add the two yellow first, then the orange, and we'll add the pink ones next. Just like this. They're so tiny. <laughs> Don't they look cute? Now we can go ahead and add some of the paper on top, just like this. There we go. Let me go ahead and add them inside the box. Hmm, I wonder if we need to take off the paper. Should I remove it? Yeah, I definitely think I need to remove it because it doesn't fit. Am I putting this wrong? Please let me know if I'm doing something wrong in the comments. Oops. <laughs> well, there they went, but they're all back home safe. Let me go ahead and close up the little box. Come on. Fit. There we go. It's definitely a tight fit. I don't know if it was mine or if they all come that way, but we were able to get them to work. All of these extra ingredients, we will add them to our pantry later. Let me show you our series one collection. We were able to add the, what did we add? Oh, we added this tropical salad. I think of everything we unboxed today, it's my favorite. And we also added the ube boba to our series two Wave one, two, we went ahead and added the macarons, which I think are my second favorite of the day. They're just too cute. And we also had our sherry vanilla float. 
please stop by next time when we go ahead and fill up our pantry. It really needs some additional items in there. We have some white spaces, so we'll definitely work on that. But thank you for stopping by. You have a great weekend.